All right, uh, glad y'all could join us today. We're going to talk about the tie fast uh, nail knot tying tool. And this is it right here. And what we use it for is just to tie a line strike indicator um, in lieu of uh, using a strike indicator or your traditional strike indicator. What we've done is, is we've wrapped the uh, line about four or five times around the uh, uh, end of the tool and then we've run this line through those loops. And now we're just kind of cinching up on it. And then what we'll do is we'll take the fly line run it through, and then the front end here. And then the important part is to make sure you do this quickly and pull, um, keeping a good uh, handle or tension on this side of the line, and we just pull. And there you go. <clears throat> now we haven't tightened it all the way, you still have a ability to move it up and down the uh, fly line. Uh, but once you do have it in place, before you uh, tighten down on it, tighten on the uh, Dacron fly line backing first, and then you can come back and tighten on the Dacron backing, uh, fly line backing, and then the fly line itself. And there you have it. And all you do is then is trim off the excess, and you'll have your first part of the line strike indicator. The next thing we'll do is, is we'll cut about a uh, length, about, about a foot long to about a foot and a half long of that fly line backing. And we'll go ahead and trim up the uh, ends. And then what we'll do is we'll tie a perfection loop. And that will be, that will be our loop to loop connection for our line strike indicator. Just cinch that up, and there we go. The end result is the line strike indicator made of that uh, Dacron fly line backing attached with a nail knot to your fly line, and then a perfection loop that'll provide the uh, loop to loop connection that uh, you'll use to attach to your leader itself. Put some line dressing here, and what you can do is it'll sit on top of the water, and as it sits on top of the water, you can notice any movement, twitches, whatnot. I'd like to demonstrate uh, how we're using the line strike indicator that uh, we showed earlier. Uh, it's just a piece of uh, Cabela's fly line backing, Dacron line, about 20 pound test. We've got a nail knot on this end and we've got a perfection loop on this end and then a loop to loop connection to our leader. And we've also uh, applied a little uh, line dressing to it. And you can see that uh, the indicator floats on the top the water and we can watch it and pay attention to it and treat it just like a normal indicator for us. Also we noticed a number of YouTube videos that are available that show how to use the nail knot tying tool. And, uh, we're going to tie this on to the tip of our fly line. The first Portland thing... Portland tie fast knot tire to tie a nail knot. Take the thick end of your... and hold the wrap securely with your forefinger. We also found the YouTube video showing how to tie the perfection loop. But there's a quick and easy perfection loop for using in the end of your leaders. I can give you an idea why we like having that uh, tying tool on us. And uh, actually, you ended up uh, writing an uh, article on it, the Do It Yourself Fly Line Leader article that went into more detail on uh, how you make your own knotted uh, fly line leaders. Um, gives some recipes on how to uh, tie those. And in there, also, how we attach a fly line to a leader and specifically talking of this uh, line strike indicator and how we uh, came about to start using it. It's uh, quick and simple to tie. It's a loop-to-loop -loop connection and uh, doesn't uh, require cutting of the fly line once you've uh, got that nail knot in there. Uh, and also it double, does double duty as that uh, strike uh, indicator. And uh, always good to be ready for these moments like in this case. 